For this video, I'll be working through the level 2 2017 electricity magnetism exam. I'll be working through question 2. Right, let's fold this over. Question 2. This is a circuit's question, so I can see your circuit already. Sam is using a light bulb rated as 9 volts, 12 watts. Um, calculate the current flowing through the bulb when it is working at its stated voltage of 9 volts, which basically means at 9 volts it's putting out 12 watts of energy or 12 joules per second. Right, on your formula sheet you will see, where is it? P equals IV, power equals current times the voltage. What are we trying to find? The current. So we're going to have current is equal to the power divided by the voltage, which is equal to 12 over 9, which is equal to 1.33 recurring amps. Easy peasy. Sam then connects two identical, we'll move that down a bit, 9 volt 12 watt bulbs and a 12 volt battery and a rheostat Rio stat variable resistor or a potentiometer if you're American um, as shown below. I don't actually know if it's American but that's another name for it. Um, oh and that's a school one as well. There's a 10 ohm. Oh, yeah, it looks like one that you'd find in a school. Explain how increasing the resistance of a Rio stat affects the voltage across each bulb. So I'm going to pause the video, write down the answer and then discuss it. Right, so I've said as the combined bulbs are in series with this rheostat, it can be said the voltage of the supply is equal to the voltage of the bulb plus the voltage of the rheostat, or shorten it to rio. As both rheostat and combined bulbs, these two combined, experience the same current, increasing the resistance of the rheostats, increasing that resistance, increases the voltage, because V equals IR. Since the voltage of the rheostat increases, and V supply is fixed, as we've got up here, um, V bulb must decrease. Um, that's a short way to answer it. There's a f the, it's more like a more technical way. Um, you suppose you learn this in level three physics, if you take it, or if the teachers teach you now. Um, there's a law called Kirchhoff's law, so it's the sum of the voltages is equal to zero in a closed loop. So if you take any path, from this is the positive side of the battery, that's the negative side of the battery, from positive to negative, the sum of the voltages has to be equal to zero. And it's really, it's an actually a conservation law, it's conservation of energy. So if you start off with 12 joules, because 12 volts is 12 joules per coulomb, um, you're going to lose energy through here, you're going to lose energy through here, and then you're going to get back to zero. So all the energy must be used um, in general. In practice, usually the battery... Yeah, if you short out a battery, the battery actually heats up, and that's the using of the energy. Um, but the battery has internal resistance, so not much current flows. Still a little bit of energy is used, um, and it's still 12 joules. Um, but yeah, but anyway, so it's courage off some of the voltage laws equal to zero. It's conservation of energy. Right, next question. Let's be done with that. Show that the resistance of the rheostat must be 1.13 ohms in order for each bulb to be operating at 9 volts. How are we going to do that? Right, so we know the current going through one bulb over here is 1.33 amps. So, let's write current through bulb 1 plus bulb 2 is equal to 2.66 amps. And the reason that is just because current splits up. These are identical bulbs, so if there's 1.66 amps going through there, uh, 1.33 amps going through there, 1.33 amps going through there, if you join it here at the node, there must have been 2.66 amps of current coming down this path from the positive, splitting up, rejoining back to the negative. Right, so now we've got the current. Um, what about the voltage? So from that formula over there on the other side of the page where I have the supply is equal to the bulb plus the rheostat, and I sort of alluded on Kirchhoff's law, um, we'll just rewrite that in terms of V rio. Let me spell that. Um, is equal to V supply minus um, V bulb 
one. We'll, cho we'll choose one, the path going to the one, and that's just going to be equal to um, 12 minus 9 is equal to 3 volts. Sweet. So the resistance of the Rio stats, R Rio, chuck a whole lot of subscripts in there, is just the voltage divided by the current from V equals IR. See that up there? Yep. I've rearranged, I moved the I underneath because I divided both by sides by I equals 3 over 2.66 and that is equal to, that should be 3.00 but whatever, 3 divided by that is equal to 1.127 ohms but I need to be 3SF so that's equal to, I'll write it fancy down the bottom, R Rio is equal to 1.13 ohms. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. All right, and that's three SF because that's three, that's three. And everything on this page has been three so far. Sweet. Last question. Ooh, how are we going to do this? Right. At some time later, Sam modifies the circuit in part A by adding one or more identical bulbs. A current of 2.13 amps is drawn from the battery when the circuit is connected. Explain how the addition of bulb 3 affects the brightness of bulb 1. In your answer, explain if any of the bulbs are now more likely to uh, blow. So we can figure out what the v voltage across this one quite easily because we have the current and we have the, the resistance. So let's now do that. So say R Rio is equal to I, V Rio, actually the IR, and that's equal to 2.13 times 1.13. And that equals 2.41 volts. So now the voltage across the Rio stat has decreased. So that means the voltage across bulb 1 will have increased. And we can figure that out just by saying V supply is equal to, what was it? V bulb 1, I'm going to shorten that to bulb 1, plus V Rio, uh, right there, and that is bulb one indeed. Yep. So let's just, I'm not even going to worry about the algebra. I'll just write it out here. V bulb one, B1 is equal to 9.6 volts because we originally were a 3 and now we're down to 2.4, so that's a drop of 0.59, rounding that up to 6. Uh, 0 0.6 volts, so I'm going to add that 0 0.6 to the original 9 volts that was across that bulb. Um, bulb 2 and 3 are in series with each other, so because the potential difference from this point to this point is 9.6 volts, these two are going to get half of that. So VB2 is equal to, what's half of 9.6? 4.8, and VB3 is equal to 4.8 as well because they are identical bulbs. So, we've done some figuring out. Explain how the addition of volt bulb 3 affects the brightness of bulb 1. In your answer, explain if any of the bulbs are likely to blow. So bulb 3 increases the brightness of bulb 1. Because um, it forces... What does it do? Oh, it just does it, because we know that the voltage just increases. Um, it would force more current down there, but that wouldn't necessarily increase the voltage. That there increases the voltage of bulb one. Um, right, and that well, that there, yeah, right. How are we going to write this? So, bulb three increases. Let's pause this. So the brightness of bulb one. Bulb one is also likely to blow as it is operating above the voltage, the rated voltage level. Um, so just sort of a summation, adding this bulb here increases the total resistance of the circuit. Increase the total resistance of the circuit, you decrease the total current of the circuit. Decrease of the total current means the less current flying through this resistor, which means less voltage across this, this resistor, which means more voltage across this bulb and more voltage across these two bulbs. That's it.